the croton plant is primarily grown for its beautiful foliage and unbeknown to many its traditional uses in folklore medicine especially in asian countries welcome to earth's medicine today we will be profiling the croton plant and sharing some of its uses in traditional medicine. The scientific name for this plant is Codieum variegatum. It is from the Euphorbiaceae plant family and the genus is called Codieum. Most Jamaicans, if not all of them, should be familiar with this plant and we commonly refer to it as Croton. However, in other parts of the world, it is not only known as Croton, but also as variegated Croton, Garden Croton, and Joseph's Coat among other common names but the preferred common name is garden croton now there are more than 100 varieties of this plant and these are some of them The croton plant is native to tropical Asia and the Western Pacific region and today you can find it growing in Jamaica and in many other countries around the world. The croton plant is a small shrub or tree that can grow up to about 10 feet tall but it really depends on its environment so you know if it's located in its natural environment and all is well it may get that tall however if it is located indoors it won't get that tall now the leaves are leathery and um, based on the pictures that were shown to you earlier on uh, you saw that they can vary in color shape pattern and size depending on variety um, and the leaf color can range from green variegated with white pink orange red yellow or purple in various combinations that may change as the plant ages now the flowers bloom in white and yellow small clusters along a stem and um, compared to the foliage they are insignificant and unattractive so the reason why i had mentioned earlier on that most Jamaicans, if not all of them, 
should be familiar with croton plants is because you can find them growing abundantly mostly in people's backyards and front yards you can also find them growing in other green spaces as well and um, they thrive best in a fertile well-drained moist and uh, they need bright indirect light when grown indoors but when outdoors they thrive best in partial shade and in cool climates they can tolerate full sun if they are kept moist and crotons can be propagated by stem cuttings air layering and petiole rooting So guys, before we move into some of the uses in traditional medicine, if you are finding value in the video so far, we're going to ask you kindly to hit that like button right now. Please also drop a comment and share this video as well so that other persons can benefit from this information today. If you would like to donate to the channel, there is a PayPal link located in the description below. All you would need to do is to click on it and you will be able to do so. And please note that any amount would be greatly appreciated and it will definitely go towards making better content for you guys. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you. If you are enjoying this video so far and you would like to see more videos like this one in the future, then please subscribe to the channel right now. It is totally free. And please turn on your post notifications. That way you will not miss any of our future uploads. Thank you so much, guys. Now let's get right back to the video so the medicinal uses of the croton plant vary depending on where in the world it is being used and on which part of the plant is being used now these are just some of the uses in traditional medicine the leaf decoction is mostly taken internally to treat things like diarrhea stomach aches, intestinal worms, and bacterial infections. People also use it to treat colds, the flu, influenza, epilepsy, amenorrhea, fevers, and to boost the immune system. The root decoction is taken internally to treat gastric ulcers and the bark decoction or sap is applied on the skin topically in small quantities to treat skin infections. The leaf sap is also drunk and applied topically to treat snake bites and the sap of the leaves is mixed with coconut milk and used to treat syphilitic lesions the root is combined with betel nut which is the same thing as areca katichu then it is chewed to treat stomach aches and um, to give temporary relief from toothaches. To stimulate menstrual flow, three leaves are chewed and the juice is swallowed. This is also done to facilitate childbirth 
and to induce an abortion. The leaves are also boiled and the water is used as a wash for fevers. And to treat amoebic dysentery and actbios leaf extract or decoction is taken. Even though this plant is used in a traditional medicine, it may be poisonous if consumed in large quantities and the bark, roots, latex and leaves are poisonous. Chewing the bark and roots is said to cause burning of the mouth and the latex has caused eczema in some people. Medical Disclaimer The information shared on Earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment. It is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine. If you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns, please speak to your doctor about same.